Auf Hochtouren hat man Simply walking can present a particular challenge when it comes to high alpine touring. This is because you are moving across loose terrain, scree and rocks, but also fearn, snow and ice. When the ground underfoot is hard, you should use crampons. The optimal technique when climbing moderately steep terrain up to 30 degrees is an approach commonly called flat foot or the French technique. When, as the name suggests, all crampon points should be engaged with the ground, the ice, or the hard fern in order to create good grip for a strong foothold. When using crampons on fern, you should not kick steps into the snow as you would when walking without crampons. Instead, place your foot with your crampons down as flat as possible on the snow so that all points engage with the fern at the same time. You should climb the slope in zigzags so that your crampons are flat on the snow and all the points grip. When using this flat foot technique, it is essential to walk with your feet hip width apart, allowing enough room for each foot to pass the other cleanly so that your crampons don't snag and you don't stumble. When the terrain gets steeper, you should switch from the flat foot technique to front pointing or the German technique. This approach makes use of the front points. Rather than kicking hard into the ice or frozen fern with the toe of your boot, the front points are inserted with a more deliberate movement, placing the toe of your boot cleanly against the ice, applying pressure, and climbing the slope step by step. Again, make sure you walk with your feet hip width apart so that you do not snag your crampons and cause a fall. To help maintain balance on steeper ground or protect against a fall, once again, use your ice axe. Generally, this technique involves holding the ice axe by its head, then planting the pick in the ice before taking two steps. Then you replant the axe a little higher and take another two steps. Alternatively, if you have two axes, you can use both. When descending with crampons, your legs and feet should again be hip width apart with your toes pointing slightly outwards in a V-shape. With your ice axe in one hand, you then descend using three repeated movements. Place the ice axe, then take two steps, ice axe, then two steps, and so on down the slope. Walking with crampons involves a different technique than walking without crampons. It is important to maintain a gentle, regular rhythm that is slow and controlled. If you go too fast, there's always the danger you may snag a crampon spike either on your clothing or on the fern itself. Deciding whether or not to put crampons on depends on the ground underfoot as well as on the steepness and your own personal preference. But it's important not to wait too long to potentially switch to crampons so that you can be sure to put them on in a safe situation before reaching the bare ice. It is also possible to cross short passages of hard fern or ice by cutting steps. You can do this using the ads of your ice axe to cut horizontal steps that are big enough for one foot to be placed safely in front of the other. This process is slightly easier when you are on a gentle uphill slope. It is more difficult if you have to cut steps while descending. In this case, you should consider if crampons would be the better option. In any case, on high alpine tours, you must do everything you can to avoid a fall. Unfortunately, the main causes of accidents are slipping and stumbling. If you encounter a dangerous passage, the key thing is to have your ice axe ready to use when needed, put your crampons on before it gets unsafe, or better yet, perhaps avoid the difficulty by finding an alternative route. One thing worth bearing in mind, if you are already on the steep slope, it is too late. Generally, it will no longer be possible to put on your crampons.